My name is Pam Ratliff and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I heard about For My Life. Um, I was in a place where I really desperately needed God to do something in my life. And I, uh, due to circumstances in my life, I had a uh, spirit of depression. I had been given diagnoses, about four diagnoses, one with which was hypothyroidism. And one day I was crying out to God and uh, I said, I believe you, I believe your word, but I'm drowning here. And uh, he miraculously directed me to the More Excellent Way book. And I picked it up off the shelf, looked at it, and looked at the table of contents and being a nurse, I was like, oh, <laughs> something's resonating here with me. So bought the book, took it home. Uh, my husband took me away for the weekend, so I just devoured it. Uh, the big thing that stuck out to me at that time was uh, Dr. Wright said that if you haven't forgiven someone, there you could feel high octane pings in your stomach, and I literally had fireworks going off. So I thought I had forgiven, and uh, but God revealed to me through the more excellent way, and that I really hadn't. I began to look at um, spiritual roots, and God just really met me in that place, and I was believing the lie that um, depression was who I was due to my circumstances. And when I realized through um, Dr. Wright's teachings that that was a spirit of depression, then I knew I had authority in the name of Jesus. And otherwise, I was just stuck. There was no hope for me. And yet, when I realized that this is a spirit being that he said, I have the authority to do something about, I began to cast that thing down in Jesus' name. And I began to walk out of that. I have walked out of all four of those diagnoses. And I like to tell people, we always want the microwave effect. We want it to be done immediately. Um, some of those were. God met me and some of those were immediately um, eradicated. Um, one, I just now um, have just this year uh, walked out of hypothyroidism and have been off my medication now since the beginning of May. And um, that's a medication that doctors will tell you you can never stop. But um, what was interesting was about six months before uh, I felt like I didn't need that anymore. And so I was weaning myself off and then I just really got fatigue big time. So I was like, well, maybe it's not time. So um, in May, we took a trip. The whole time we were there, which was two weeks, I forgot to take that medication. And so I felt great. I mean, I climbed a big mountain. I mean, there was no fatigue. So I came back home and I began to realize, I really don't think I need this. I think God has healed me of this hypothyroidism. And so I gave that testimony to a group we meet and we discuss being health principles. And so I shared it with them. Well, the very next day I was hit with a spirit of fatigue. It was like, boom. And I decided, you know what? That is a spirit of fatigue. I am not going to give in to that spirit of fatigue. And I am just going to do what James said. I'm going to submit to God and I'm going to resist the devil and he will flee. Now, it took a while for that fatigue, that spirit of fatigue to leave me, but it did. And I just, the end of October, went to the doctor and my blood levels are all totally normal. So I give all, God all the praise and glory. The big thing is um, for me in overcoming was applying these principles from God's Word that I have learned through Dr. Wright's teachings that we do have to take every thought captive and we cannot give the enemy any foothold in our thinking and that we choose to believe God. And, you know, I like to tell people, look, this is not a one and done. If Satan told Jesus in the wilderness, uh, I'm going to wait for a more opportune time, 
He certainly is going to wait for opportune times for us. So we just be on alert and we say, who told me that? Every time that thought comes, it's going to take me back to allowing my body to succumb to a disease. I'm like, mm, no, you're out of here in the name of Jesus. I don't listen to you anymore. If somebody was on the fence about coming to For My Life, I would say, do you really want to be well? That's what Yeshua had to ask people sometimes. Do you really want to be well? Then we have to take responsibility for our own choices, our own thoughts. Who are we going to agree with? Who are we not going to agree with? And we have to apply God's Word to our life and stop expecting God to do it for us without our part.